Okay, if you were to ask those very smart odds makers in Las Vegas, they would tell you that two of the top three favorites to win the Stanley Cup both played in the West Division. The Avs, well, they needed a win in their last game of the season to lock up the West and the President's Trophy. So home ice is theirs for the whole ride. And by the way, they went 16-0-1 in their last 17 home games. Now, Nathan McKinnon took his game to a whole new level in last year's playoffs, and I can't wait to see if he's able to top himself this year. He did miss four of the last five games of the season because of an undisclosed injury, but that may have had more to do with resting him for the playoffs. But he is far from the only skilled player on this team. How else would they finish top three in the league in both goals for and goals allowed per game? Now, the question mark here for the Avs is goal 10. Philip Grubauer had a pretty good season overall, but he definitely had a tough stretch at one point, and being sidelined with COVID probably had something to do with that. But other than that, this team has all the tools, including one of the most exciting defensemen in the league in Kale McCarr, to go all the way. Now, they did lose to the Blues in their final two meetings of the season, but I still can't see this team having any trouble in this series. I'll take the abs in five. Okay, when you consider the fact that the Golden Knights won 40 of their 56 games this season, it does have to sting a bit that they didn't win the division. Instead, they earned a date with the Minnesota Wild. Now, I've got more bad news if you're a fan of the Las Vegas Golden Knights. They were 3-4-1 against the Wild this season, their worst record against any opponent. Okay, but this Golden Knights team is just scary good. They finished with their best winning percentage, points percentage, offense, defense, and penalty kill in team history. When it comes to goaltending, how many times can we count out Marc-Andre Fleury and have him prove the entire hockey world wrong? The 36-year-old finished with a pretty good 26-10 record, a 198 goals against average, and a 928 save percentage, and oh yeah, probably a Vesna nomination. And we can't forget, they still have Robin Leonard. That is a goaltending tandem, definitely worth the $12 million cap hit it cost them this season. Regular season, head-to-head -head matchup aside, I just can't see a reason to pick an upset here. Vegas in five.